The EVE 3 Kodiak offered by Rai Metal is a current generation military engineering vehicle. It is built on the base of the Leopard 2 MBT. The EBG Combat Engineering Vehicle, based on the AMX 30 tank, is used by the engineers of the French Army for a variety of missions. Bad M Engineering Vehicle of Russia and the former Soviet Union A military engineering vehicle is a vehicle built for the construction work or for the transportation of combat engineers on the battlefield. These vehicles may be modified civilian equipment or purpose-built military vehicles. The first appearance of such vehicles coincided with the appearance of the first tanks, these vehicles were modified Mark V tanks for bridging and mine clearance. Modern military engineering vehicles are expected to fulfill numerous roles, as such they undertake numerous forms, examples of roles include, bulldozers, cranes, graders, excavators, dump trucks, breaching vehicles, bridging vehicles, military ferries, amphibious crossing vehicles, and combat engineer section carriers. A heavy re-tank was developed shortly after World War I by Major Gifar Lacane Martel Re. This vehicle was a modified Mark V tank. Two support functions for these engineer tanks were developed, bridging and mine clearance. The bridging component involved an assault bridge, designed by Major Charles Inglis Re, called the Canal Lock Bridge, which had sufficient length to span a canal lock. Major Martel mated the bridge with a tank and used hydraulic power generated by the tank's engine to maneuver the bridge into place. For mine clearance the tanks were equipped with two-ton rollers. Between the wars various experimental bridging tanks were used to test a series of methods for bridging obstacles and developed by the experimental bridging establishment. Captain S.G. Galpin reconceived a prototype light tank MKV to test the scissors assault bridge. This concept was realized by Captain S.A. Stewart Ree with significant input from a Mr. D.M. Delaney, a scientific civil servant in the employ of the EBA. M.B. Wild and Company, Birmingham, also developed a bridge that could span gaps of 26 feet using a complex system of steel wire ropes and a traveling jib. Where the front section was projected and then attached to the rear section prior to launching the bridge. This system had to be abandoned due to lack of success in getting it to work, However the idea was later used successfully on the Beaver Bridge laying tank. A Churchill bridge layer of 51st Royal Tank Regiment in action during a demonstration in the Mezzano area, March 30, 1945. Once World War II had begun, the development of armored vehicles for use by engineers in the field was accelerated under Delaney's direction. The EBA rapidly developed an assault bridge carried on a modified Covenanter tank capable of deploying a 24-ton track load capacity bridge that could span gaps of 30 feet. However, it did not see service in the British Armed Forces, and all vehicles were passed on to Allied forces such as Australia and Czechoslovakia. A Class 30 design superseded the Class 24 with no real redesign, simply the substitution of the Covenanter tank with a suitably modified Valentine. As tanks in the war got heavier, a new bridge capable of supporting them was developed. A heavily modified Churchill used a single-piece bridge mounted on a turretless tank and was able to lay the bridge in 90 seconds, this bridge was able to carry a 60-ton tract or 40-ton wheeled load. Hobart's Funnies were a number of unusually modified tanks operated during the Second World War by the 79th Armored Division of the British Army or by specialists from the Royal Engineers. They were designed in light of problems that more standard tanks experienced during the amphibious Dieppe raid, so that the new models would be able to overcome the problems of the planned invasion of Normandy. These tanks played a major part on the Commonwealth beaches during the landings. They were forerunners of the modern combat engineering vehicle and were named after their commander, Major General Percy Hobart. Hobart's unusual, specialized tanks, nicknamed Funnies, included, in U.S. forces, Sherman tanks were also fitted with dozer blades, and anti-mine roller devices were developed, enabling engineering operations and providing similar capabilities. Post-war, the value of the combat engineering vehicles had been proven, and armored multi-role engineering vehicles had been added to the majority of armored forces. IDF Caterpillar D9 are armored bulldozers carry out earthworks. Their heavy armor is developed and manufactured in Israel jointly by the Israel Defense Forces and Israeli Defense Industries. Military engineering can employ a wide variety of heavy equipment in the same or similar ways to how this equipment is used outside the military. Bulldozers, cranes, graders, excavators, dump trucks, loaders, and backhoes all see extensive use by military engineers. Military engineers may also use civilian heavy equipment which was modified for military applications. 
Typically, this involves adding armor for protection from battlefield hazards such as artillery, unexploded ordnance, mines, and small arms fire. Often this protection is provided by armor plates and steel jackets. Some examples of armored civilian heavy equipment are the IDF Caterpillar D9, American D7 TPK, Canadian D6 armored bulldozer, cranes, graders, excavators, and M35 2 half-ton cargo truck. Militarized heavy equipment may also take on the form of traditional civilian equipment designed and built to unique military specifications. These vehicles typically sacrifice some depth of capability from civilian models in order to gain greater speed and independence from prime movers. Examples of this type of vehicle include high-speed backhoes such as the Australian Army's High Mobility Engineering Vehicle from Thales or the Canadian Army's Multipurpose Engineer Vehicle from Arva. The main article for civilian heavy equipment is, Heavy Equipment Pi PZ Docks Eve of the German Army A German Army Rhine Metal Kyler. It uses a heavy-duty rotor-powered mine flail, which causes mines it comes in contact with to safely detonate. Typically based on the platform of a main battle tank, these vehicles go by different names depending upon the country of use or manufacture. In the US the term combat engineer vehicle is used, in the UK the terms armored vehicle royal engineers or armored repair and recovery vehicle are used. While in Canada and other Commonwealth nations the term armored engineer vehicle is used. There is no set template for what such a vehicle will look like, yet likely features include a large dozer blade or mine plows, a large caliber demolition cannon, augers, winches, excavator arms and cranes or lifting booms. These vehicles are designed to directly conduct obstacle breaching operations and to conduct other earth moving and engineering work on the battlefield. Good examples of this type of vehicle include the UK Trojanover, the Russian IMR, and the US M728 combat engineer vehicle. Although the term armored engineer vehicle is used specifically to describe these multipurpose tank-based engineering vehicles, that term is also used. More generically in British and Commonwealth militaries to describe all heavy tank-based engineering vehicles used in the support of mechanized forces. Thus, armored engineer vehicle used generically would refer to EVE, AVLB, assault breachers, and so on. Lighter and less multifunctional than the SEVs or EVEs described above, these vehicles are designed to conduct earth-moving work on the battlefield. These vehicles have greater high-speed mobility than traditional heavy equipment and are protected against the effects of blast and fragmentation. Good examples are the American M9 ACE and the UK FE-180 Combat Engineer Tractor. Marines with 2nd Combat Engineer Battalion launch a M58 Miklik from an assault breacher vehicle. ST Engineering Bionics Trailblazer Counter Mine Vehicle. Note the high, Stout appearance designed specifically to survive mine blasts. These vehicles are equipped with mechanical or other means for the breaching of man-made obstacles. Common types of breaching vehicles include mechanical flails, mine plow vehicles, and mine roller vehicles. In some cases, these vehicles will also mount mine clearing line charges. Breaching vehicles may be either converted armored fighting vehicles or purpose-built vehicles. In larger militaries, converted AFE are likely to be used as assault breachers while the breached obstacle is still covered by enemy observation and fire, and then purpose-built breaching vehicles will create additional lanes for following forces. Good examples of breaching vehicles include the USMC M1 assault breacher vehicle, the UK Aardvark JSFU, and the Singaporean Trailblazer. US Army M104 Wolverine Heavy Assault Bridge Several types of military bridging vehicles have been developed. An armored vehicle launched bridge is typically a modified tank hull converted to carry a bridge into battle in order to support crossing ditches, small waterways, or other gap obstacles. Another type of bridging vehicle is the truck launched bridge. The Soviet TMM bridging truck could carry and launch a 10 meter bridge that could be daisy chained with other TMM bridges to cross larger obstacles. More recent developments have seen the conversion of AVLB and truck launched bridge with launching systems that can be mounted on either tank or truck for bridges that are capable of supporting heavy main battle tanks. Earlier examples of bridging vehicles include a type in which a converted tank hull is the bridge. On these vehicles, the hull deck comprises the main portion of the treadway while ramps extend from the front and rear of the vehicle to allow other vehicles to climb over the bridging vehicle and cross obstacles. An example of this type of armored bridging vehicle was the Churchill Arc used in the Second World War. IDF Namersev is used both to carry section of sappers and to operate combat engineering devices. 
M1132 Engineer Squad vehicle issued to combat engineer squads in the U.S. Army Striker Brigade combat teams. Another type of SEVs are armored fighting vehicles which are used to transport sappers and can be fitted with a bulldozer's blade and other mine breaching devices. They are often used as APCs because of their carrying ability and heavy protection. They are usually armed with machine guns and grenade launchers and usually track to provide enough tractive force to push blades and rakes. Some examples are the USM-113 APC, IDF Puma, Nagmakan, Husky, and USM-1132 ESV. This field deployable apparatus, known as EFA, used by the engineers of the French Army, may either be used as a bridge, or as a ferry one of the major tasks of military engineering is crossing major rivers. Several military engineering vehicles have been developed in various nations to achieve this task. One of the more common types is the amphibious ferry such as the M3 amphibious rig. These vehicles are self-propelled on land, they can transform into raft-type ferries when in the water, and often multiple vehicles can connect to form larger rafts or floating bridges. Other types of military ferries, such as the Soviet Plavyushish Transportire, Sredi and Wyge, are able to load while still on land and transport other vehicles cross-country and over water. In addition to amphibious crossing vehicles, military engineers may also employ several types of boats. Military assault boats are small boats propelled by oars or an outboard motor and used to ferry dismounted infantry across water. Churchill Bobbin, a ruled road surface that could be laid for following vehicles to cross loose sand on a beach. The raised boxes at the rear of the vehicle are radiator extensions to allow deep wading in water. Most SEVs are armored fighting vehicles that may be based on a tank chassis and have special attachments in order to breach obstacles. Such attachments may include dozer blades, mine rollers, cranes etc. An example of an engineering vehicle of this kind is a bridge-laying tank, which replaces the turret with a segmented hydraulic bridge. The Hobart's funnies of the Second World War were a wide variety of armored vehicles for combat engineering tasks. They were allocated to the initial beachhead assaults by the British and Commonwealth forces in the D-Day landings. The British Churchill tank because of its good cross-country performance and capacious interior with side hatches became the most adapted with modifications, the base unit being the ever carrying a large demolition gun. M4 with 105mm howitzer and a dozer blade. A remotely controlled Panther armored mine clearing vehicle leads a column down a road in Bosnia and Herzegovina, May 16, 1996. Grizzly Combat Mobility Vehicle MTU-12 Bridge Layer MTU-20 Bridge Layer IMR Combat Engineering Vehicle IMR 3M Combat Engineering Vehicle with the dozer blade stowed in the transport position. Thanks for watching.